So this is a very versatile tool here. Um, you've got eight send outputs, so eight send buttons. But for stereo channels, you can you can um, you, you have to look at these as if there were sixteen ones. So you've got eight ones for the left side, and if you select the the um, the other channel, you've got another eight for the right side. And in order to do to sort of set them to different values, you need to keep Alt pressed on the keyboard to um, switch them on. So for example, I could set the um, the output of the right channel, the send of the right channel, I could switch on the reverb um, send, and if I go back to the left side, the reverb is still switched off. Switched on, switched off, just, be, just by looking at different sort of sides of the same send section. A lot of people always ask me, um, what's the difference between send effects and insert effects? and when should you use which one of them and what are the advantages and disadvantages of using them. For a start, the insert effects are separate on each channel which means that each channel can have its own set of four insert effects and obviously if you've got ten channels with with four insert effects in each channel it means that you're running 40 VST plugin effects at the same time and use up quite a lot of CPU power whereas if you can get away with using only three or four effects and um, you could um, route all the channels through those three or four effects then obviously you're only using three or four effects which means that the load on the CPU is a lot less than using those three or four effects for example on each of those channels. We could even modify the routing of the send effects so they act or the, so they work in the same way as the insert effects would work if you look at this channel setup here, for example, you can see that we've got two outputs, or two output sections. We've got the um, the channel, the fader that goes directly to the master, which we've muted here for the time being, and then we've got the output, or all the eight outputs going into the um, effect racks. So basically we've got two main output sections. Now an insert effect um, has only got basically one in and one out, and this out just goes straight back into the fader here again. In order to make the, the send channels, send effects work as inserts, what we need to do is we need to turn down this output section of the channel and make sure that the whole signal or everything of the signal goes through this button here into the effect racks. And, um, and usually this button is set up that it comes after this one here, so the fader here determines how loud this one will be. But if we click on pre, it means that the fader settings here aren't being aren't being taken into account anymore. The signal is um, taken away from the channel strip before it um, arrives, um, before it gets to the fader, and and thus the whole sound or the full volume blast of this channel here is being sent straight to the effect section. Or you can then still adjust the volume of what you want to um, send through the effect section here. I'll show you this on, an, on a little example. So let's say we want to use the metalizer on on five different instruments um, as an insert effect and if we were to do that we'd use five occurrences of the metalizer as insert effects and would use uh, five times higher load of the CPU as compared to just using it once in the send effect section and routing it in a special way. So um, let's have a look what this one would sound like. I'll set this one to the metalizer. I'll switch this one off for the time being. Make sure this is set to both channels. And let's play. Now the channel um, sends its signal into the metalizer. The metalizer sends it back to output John. But this channel also sends it into the master output. And if I open this one, you can hear that we've got the original signal coming through and the um, effected signal. In order to stop this one, we need to turn down this one. But now nothing goes into the misterizer, sorry, into the metalizer too. So we'll have to switch this one on again. And now, um, and now the signal goes straight through the send section into the metalizer and back out into our output. And obviously, if you want to use this um, within your tune, you'll send this one to the master output direct. 
and is there ready for you to use. But probably the most obvious use for the send effect is if you want to route two instruments through the same reverb section to make them sound as if they're being played in the in the very same room. And of course if you want to change the room you just change the room here on the reverb section and then all, all instruments um, are affected. Let me set this one up for you and then I'll um, show you what I mean. So here's a very small example of what you can do with the send effects. I've got a snare track and a higher track which when they both play together you can hear they haven't got any effects on them at the moment. They both sound completely dry and obviously they sound as if they're in the same room or non-room so to speak, i.e. direct. Now I'm going to apply some effects on the hi-hat. So go into effects, switch on the hi-hat. This is, sorry, this is our hi-hat. And now you can hear that the snare drum is still completely direct whereas the hi-hat is in a sort of small kind of boxy room. And obviously it sounds as if two people are playing these two instruments. One in, one like right up front close, the snare drum, and the other one in a room somewhere else with a bit of um, reverb on there. And if I add the same reverb to the snare drum, now both of them are in the same room again. And, um, and both instruments sound much more as if they're part of the same thing basically. This would work even better for, for harmony stuff if you had like lots of people singing and you sent them all through the same reverb. They all sound as if they're singing at the same time. This is great for when you do overdubs, so if you, for example, sing the female parts on one day and then get the blogs in and, and record the blogs on a different day and then just send them all through the same reverb unit, at least the final, the final reverb unit, then, um, then they all sound as if they've recorded it at the same time there and then in the same room and everything. Great stuff.